you've mentioned some of the tragic stories that we've heard uh, former NFL players, but just in general, what are some of the long-term uh, effects of multiple concussions? What what can some of the long-term effects be? Well, you know, as a neurosurgeon, I've been dealing with traumatic brain injury for many years. We know one severe hit to the head can lead to permanent long-term damage. Mm -hmm. The gray area is what you're alluding to is the subconcussive blows. How many, how many blows to the head before you see a problem? Well, the imaging that was available to us before simply was inadequate. Even MRI, CAT scans, brain scans are almost always normal. Now we have new imaging uh, techniques, diffusion tensor imaging or high definition fiber tractography in which we can literally follow the axons that leave the cortex, the outer bark, which is what cortex means where the cells are, and travel through the brain down to your body and, and your various organs. We can see in these millions and millions of fibers if there are any breaks in them mm. by measuring how the water is transported uh, in these axons. And recently there was a paper uh, relative to soccer. You know, you're talking about 500 hits to the head in a year in football. Mm -hmm. There are drills in soccer where a, a soccer ball at 40, 50 miles an hour, and you, pra you sit there practicing heading. Mm -hmm. Well, we know that there now are changes that can be visualized in the brain, even though they're asymptomatic. They have no headache, they have no nausea, they're doing well, but now we can image the brain and see there is some perturbation of axonal flow uh, in these brains. So we're really in a, uh, we know a lot about concussions, but there's still a big black box that we're, we're trying to shine some light on.